Hey people on YouTube land, Zach Hall here and wanted to give you another update. We're going to be doing a review here soon on the King James Study Bible by Thomas Nelson in Genuine Leather. Uh, but here I just want to give you guys a quick overview of what it looks like uh, and make this a short video. And I'll do a more in-depth review as I've had time to kind of play around with this thing. But um, essentially this is the nice Genuine Leather uh, edition. Oh and real quick when I ask if you are a subscriber or someone who watches my content uh, pretty consistently, there is a poll up on my channel on what book of the Bible you want me to do a study through, whether it's the book of Romans or Hebrews, those are the two options. So if you haven't voted on that yet, go ahead and make a vote. Uh, just that way we have a kind of a broader representation. I think 30 people have voted so far, so I know there's a lot more people that consistently watch it. So the more that vote, um, you know, the, the broader your chance will probably get selected. And I just want to make sure that, that um, everyone gets to vote on that. And... Uh, it was pretty big Romans lead there for the last couple of days, but Hebrews has started to catch up a little bit. So make sure you go over there and vote. But again, here's just a quick overview of the new King, or the King James Study Bible. Sorry, by Thomas Nelson. This thing is a beast, um, <laughs> to put it succinctly. This thing is thick. I mean, it's probably two, almost two and a half inches thick. Get you a shot of the spine here. It's got nice spine ribs, good imprinting. The leather is very, very soft. Now the Holman uh, stu uh, Study Bible now, King James Study Bible, has a uh, goatskin leather uh, edged line for the same price. So this Bible was this much here, 159 I got it with a good discount though, so I didn't pay that much for it. Um, however, it is spendy. Uh, note that the Holman has a goatskin leather that is leather lined uh, for the same price. So... But having said that, this is a very soft genuine leather. I much prefer the paste off liner, I'll have to say, for a volume this big. Uh, but again, I'll just give you a general idea of what it looks like on the inside, and then we'll do more of an in-depth review probably in a probably in a month or so. But you can see it's got a beautiful clean text for a study Bible. This has got a very readable 10-point font. Uh, it's very dark. Um, the line spacing is great. The word spacing is fantastic. You have red highlights throughout the text. And actually, I don't know if the camera is picking this up any, but this is like a dark blue. Um, maybe you could even say purplish color for the chapter numbers. So wherever a new chapter begins, it's more in a dark purple. You got a nice light purple or maybe more of an indigo type color here in the center column. And you got commentary in the bottom. You have uh, full color maps and charts and in text everything in this uh, in this Bible. You have um, key doctrinal things in a green box sparse throughout here. Book introductions, but you can see how really good the paper is. I mean, you can see a little bit of that picture showing through there, but nothing that's going to you know inhibit you from actually reading the words. On the other side so the paper is sufficiently thick for this I don't think if you if you use pigment microns or wanted to write in this with those you would have any problems if you use a good gel highlighter you should be able to highlight all over in this Bible not have any issues this is a thumb index edition and it's got two ribbon markers and so you pretty much just have you know all the stuff I said throughout the whole Bible and then you get to the back here you have, of course, a concordance. Uh, you have a lot of helps in the back of this Bible. So, pretty cool. This thing's, uh, again, it's just gigantic. It weighs a ton. It's probably close to five or six pounds heavy. Probably five. It's it's a good size Bible. And then in the back you have a couple blank pages there of Bible paper and then your maps. And that's it. You get the ISBN number there on the back. It is perimeter stitched. And again, we'll be having a full review come out on this in a uh, month or so when I've had more time to go through it and really dig into it and give you uh, hopefully a more in-depth look and view and opinion of this study Bible. But for now, if you did want to get it or you want to check it out, here is, I got this at Mardell, so if you Mardell by you, you can check that out, or there is the ISBN on the back. And again, always check out Christian Book Distributors if you're shopping online, it'd probably be cheaper. Mardell's does have a like a 30% uh, discount coupon right now, 
So you can check that out as well. But I hope you guys have a great day. Take care and God bless.